up guys, my name is Kira, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, if you follow me on my blog, kiraodarity.com, or in any of my social pages, you will probably know that I am an advocate of a good wardrobe clear out. Dare I say, there is nothing I love more than a good, ruthless clear out. So if you go all the way back on my website to about a year and a half ago, you will find a couple of posts on wardrobe clear outs. A lot of time has passed since then and I have done a lot more clear outs since then and guys, I have honed it down to a fine art. I honestly feel like I can share some real nuggets of wisdom with you guys. Obviously it's spring cleaning time, everybody is in the clear out mood. If it's your first time or you're just doing another one, this video will help you out. Doing a good wardrobe clear out has so many benefits for your wardrobe and your life and your mind and your personal space. First of all, it always makes me fall in love with my clothes again. I find things that I've completely forgotten about. I get rid of things that I've been holding on for way too long. And it also makes me look at my wardrobe with more of a critical eye. Every six months, obviously the seasons change so much here in Ireland or in so many other countries in the world. So you do kind of need to reassess what's going on in your wardrobe and plan ahead for the next few months and a clear out is the perfect way to do that. You reassess, you take stock and you get rid of all the crap that you don't need. Heed my advice and you will have your most harmonious and most effective clear out yet. If you want to learn my top tried and tested tips for the ultimate wardrobe clear out then keep watching. In order to conduct the perfect wardrobe clear out I have five key tips that are super easy to follow and I'm going to share them with you now. But the first thing that I want to share is all about the preparation. You need to take a little bit of time aside to make sure that your clear out is going to go seamlessly. Give yourself at least a few hours or even half a day or even a full day if you can and you will have so much more fun with this. Another really important thing before you start is to make sure that your room or the space that you're using is relatively clean. So what I mean is you're going to need a clear floor, a clear space, or even just a clear bed that you can put everything on and get to work. If your room is already messy, you are going to absolutely destroy your room. You're going to lose things and you're going to lose your mind. So make sure that you have a clear floor or a clear bed, which will be the perfect space to work with. Now it's time to get a nice little playlist going. Music is so important for stuff like this. Now, if you're like me, sometimes I get distracted by the music. I'll end up singing or dancing, as you'll probably see in the video that I'm about to show you. So sometimes maybe some meditation or some focus music might help if you want something that's a little bit calmer. Okay, now that you have got your preparation done, it is time to get started. Here is tip one. Take stock of everything and by doing that you are going to take everything out of your wardrobe and I mean everything. You can either do it all in one go or you can do it in sections but you need to take out everything and if you want to do this properly I mean socks, underwear, tights, t-shirts, gym wear, pajamas, swimsuits, old Halloween costumes, every single thing. Take it out. Do it in stages or do it all at once but you need to go through everything in your wardrobe so nothing is missed. Step number two, you're going to pick up each piece and look at it properly and ask yourself the following questions. Do I like it? Does it fit? Does it suit my body type? Is it age appropriate? Have I worn it in the last six months? Have I worn it in the last year? Is it damaged, outdated or old looking? Will it still be on trend next season? Ask yourself all of these questions and be honest. Do not lie to yourself. Be honest. If you said no to any of the following questions, then you are going to need to get rid of it. Another thing I strongly recommend when doing your clear out is to try on as much as possible. Now, if you have a huge wardrobe, trying on every single item is going to take so much time. So if you don't have time for that, then only try on the things that you're unsure about. So if there are pieces in your wardrobe that you wear frequently, obviously you know that they work for you, they're gonna go in the yes pile and that's no problem. But if there's something that you haven't worn in a while, even if you you think that it suits try it on it's the only way that you can be sure try it on and have a good look in the mirror and you can see if you like it or not another good tip is to take photographs of an item on you if you're still unsure so if there are some pieces that you still can't decide on you can have a maybe pile as well so toss it in there and you can come back to it later and this is the most important and probably the most difficult part of the clear out you have to go through everything in your wardrobe ask yourself those questions be honest and be ruthless as well the key to a good clear 
figure out is to be ruthless and to try and detach yourself from being sentimental, for keeping things for purposes of memory. Your clothes have a purpose and if they don't suit that purpose, if they don't fit you, if they don't look good, if you don't like them, then don't hang on to them. Even if they're gifts that you don't like, don't feel guilty about getting rid of something that you don't want anymore, even if it was a present. Another big tip in wardrobe clear outs that I think a lot of people forget about is that you should pack away your off-season clothes. So we're coming into the summer here in Ireland and even though our summers aren't crazy hot, I know for sure that I won't be wearing my big heavy winter coats or woolly turtlenecks anytime soon. So when this time of the year comes around, I always pack them away into a vacuum pack bag and store them away somewhere. Even if it's in the bottom of your wardrobe, they'll be packed away. You won't have to rifle through them every day because you won't be using them. When you are deciding what to keep and what to get rid of, remember that once you get rid of something, you will not miss it once it's gone. If your gut is telling you that you should get rid of it, get rid of it. You are not going to miss it. Once you have finished going through your entire wardrobe, then congratulations because the hardest part is now behind you. Step three is deciding what to do with that big pile that you're getting rid of. Obviously, we don't want to be dumping clothes that can still be used. It's wasteful, it's bad for the environment, and there are still loads of uses for the clothes that you don't want anymore. Donating clothes is something that I do very frequently. I always go into the charity shop at least once every couple of months with a big bag full of bits that I know I won't use anymore. These are pieces that don't necessarily have to be in season, they don't have to be fancy, but they do need to be usable. If you have t-shirts that have holes in them or that are really damaged or ripped, sometimes they are better off in the trash, but if it is a piece of clothing that can be used, it's best off to just drop it into the charity shop because they can use it for something. There is a huge market for buying and selling pre-loved clothes and there is cash just sitting there in your wardrobe waiting to be earned. So if you have a bunch of stuff that is in really good condition that you don't want to give to a charity shop, which is okay, if you want to make some money off of it, you absolutely should. You can use a consignment shop. There are plenty of them in Ireland. I personally really, really love Shop at Ella. There's a couple of different shops in Temple Bar and I bring them in clothes to consign quite frequently. You can also sell them online on apps like Depop. You can list them on eBay or you can bring them to a shop that buys your clothes by the weight. If you're bringing them in somewhere that buys them by the weight, you really don't get very much for what you drop in. So if you have special pieces that are designer or good quality high street, definitely consider bringing them to a consignment shop. Tip four is to assess Assess your wardrobe. So now that your clear out is over, you will hopefully be left with a much smaller and more cohesive wardrobe. There might be a few gaps here and there, but at least you'll be missing all of the pieces that weren't working for you. You might still have a very large wardrobe or your wardrobe might be quite small now, but either way, you need to have a good long look at it and assess where the weaknesses are. I know it sounds like some sort of military action, but really all you're doing is looking in your wardrobe and seeing where the gaps are and what things you're missing. The most important important part of any wardrobe is its basics because they are the foundation that build the wardrobe. Basics are pieces that you can wear all of the time. They're pieces that go with multiple things in your wardrobe. You can create loads of different outfits with them and they're pieces that are always going to work for you. Now what your own basics are will vary. This depends on what kind of lifestyle you lead, what kind of job you have and what kind of clothing you like to wear all the time. Before I started doing my clear outs I had a huge wardrobe but I still had nothing to wear. When I finally assessed it when I was doing my clear outs I realized that I had six sequin t-shirts and not one plain white t-shirt. That doesn't make any sense. Look at your wardrobe and find those gaps that you need to fill in and make a wish list of items that are going to make it more cohesive and make it work together. You need to look at this like a formula. What goes with what? What can I wear with as many pieces as possible? If you have a wardrobe full of standout statement pieces, you're not gonna be able to put outfits together. You need good basics and then a couple of statement pieces in between. Tip five is to reward yourself. After all your hard work, your blood, sweat and tears, you now have a beautiful new wardrobe and you also have pieces that you have either given to charity, maybe you've sold them or you've passed them on to a friend, but you've done all the hard work and now it's time for the fun part. You can reward yourself by picking up a couple of pieces on your list. Again, you wanna keep it realistic, but if you have actually managed to sell some of your clothes that you don't want anymore, you can use those funds to repurpose into your wardrobe and to pick up pieces that you 
actually need and love. While this step is definitely the most fun part of the process, you also need to make sure that you don't fall back into your old ways. So when you go out there and you're shopping for new pieces in your wardrobe, really try and think of all the tips that you've learned from this clear out. Only pick out pieces that will work for your wardrobe. Try and not get tempted by sales, by trends, by what other people are wearing. Find your own personal style and try and use that as a guideline when you're adding new pieces to your wardrobe. This is going to stop your wardrobe from getting to the stage that it was before. It's also going to save you money and it's going to mean that you can spend more money on the pieces that you really, really love. I have been following this process for almost two years now and while my wardrobe is definitely not the most amazing in the world, it is so much more easy for me to get dressed in the morning. I feel like my wardrobe suits my personal style so much better and I just have so much more fun with the clothing I have. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed these five tips for the ultimate wardrobe clear out. I promise you if you follow them you will not go wrong. If you do decide to undertake the ultimate wardrobe clear out then please do let me know in the comments below. I would absolutely love to know how you're getting on. You can also include me in any of your photos of your clear outs online. Tag me on Instagram. My username is Kira O'Doherty. I will leave it below. You can also add me on Snapchat at Kira O'Doherty and send me snaps of your wardrobe clear outs as it's happening. I've been getting loads of snaps from you guys already and I enjoy them so much. They are so funny so keep them coming. I will cheer you guys on I promise. If you liked this video then do give it a thumbs up that does help me out a lot and if you have not already then be sure to subscribe to my channel using the link below for more videos like this. So that is all for now guys and I will be back next week with a new video and I will catch you then. Bye!